Hey there guys. So when I installed my commercial fire alarm system in my house, I made a mistake. I messed up. We fucked up. My attic heat detectors, I did something wrong. Let me explain. It isn't a hard to resolve mistake that can't be changed. It was a simple device misplacement mistake. And I intended to install the right device, but I mistakenly ordered the wrong device to put up. Now, the device I'm referring to is a mechanical heat detector. We have mechanical heat detectors in the attic of my house. I didn't go addressable because I didn't want to have electronic equipment up in the attic where it's exposed to really harsh conditions, where it gets really cold in the winter and really hot in the summer, could potentially become humid. I've seen that cause problems with addressable. I'd rather have good old conventional mechanical heat detectors and have a monitor module down in the conditioned area of the house monitoring that two wire conventional zone. So I installed two system sensor mechanical heat detectors, 5600 series. Now, of course, because it's an attic, I wanted a high temperature detector. So that's what I went with. I went with one of these, what is it, 194 Fahrenheit? 194 Fahrenheit or 90 degrees Celsius detector because the attic on a hot summer day when it's 40 degrees Celsius outside, could quite easily get to probably 55, 60 degrees Celsius up there, which your standard 135 Fahrenheit, 57 Celsius would activate. Same reason why you go with high temperature sprinkler heads in such areas as you don't want them falsely going off. Obviously sprinkler heads much worse than a heat detector, but same principle. So that's what we have up there. We actually have this exact heat detector. This is model 5604A. This is a fixed temperature, 194 Fahrenheit, 90 Celsius, heat detector. This is fixed temperature. Fixed temperature is referring to the, the point that the, the detector permanently activates. It'll actually throw this disc off of the detector and there's no resetting it. The device is dead. You got to throw it out. From so that is a temperature that it will permanently activate on from a high temperature. But usually the faster way of setting off a detector and usually what sets a heat detector off first is rate of rise giving them a much faster response time. Usually rate of rise detectors combine rate of rise and a fixed temperature where the detector will activate if the temperature rises more than I think 15 Fahrenheit or eight Celsius a minute, something like that. Don't quote me on that. It will set off the rate of rise. Now, obviously we need that high temperature, but we can also still have rate of rise in the attic because it's never going to heat up that fast per minute in the attic unless there's a fire, which is what we want, is we want to catch a fire as soon as possible, which rate of rise gives us a faster response. Long story short, that's the mistake, is we installed fixed temperature, not fixed temperature and rate of rise. So we're gonna be installing these guys right here. These are also 5600 heat detector, and this is 194 Fahrenheit 90 Celsius, which is the same, Fixed temperature, which is the same, but this also has rate of rise. Another difference with these rate of rise models is they actually do have a larger coverage area i believe which is what we based the attic off of was installing two rate of rise detectors could cover the entire attic space however with fixed temp i don't believe it actually does don't quote me on what the actual size that it can cover is but i believe it is increased for a rate of rise detector here is all of our models on the back of the detector box so for this project, it's going to be pretty easy. I'm going to bring a multi-driver. I'm going to bring a light. Should be a pretty quick job. That closet there in this office on the second floor is where we access the attic first. But first, I want to bypass the module that is monitoring those detectors. Not really worried about false alarming because I'm not going to short it out. More so, so that we don't have a trouble signal that stays going the whole time freaking the dogs out. So we're going to head down to our main fire limb control panel and bypass that module. Looking at our device list right here, it's gonna be under a module. So module number two, 
conventional heat detectors fix temp and rate of rise. So we actually do have that typed out as rate of rise because I've always been planning to change those. As soon as I did the verification, I realized they weren't rate of rise and uh, knew I had to change them. I'm just getting around to doing it now. So we're going to go into programming level one. Dog's gonna freak out, that's just how it goes. That's why I tried to acknowledge it fast enough. Then we are going to go to one for disable. And this is going to be a mon module. And this is going to be address number two. So zero, zero, two, enter, disable. And there we go. Point disabled. Attic heat detectors. Okay, that has this one replaced. We don't need to change the mounting bracket. There you go. That has that heat detector replaced. We can now spin around and do this guy over here. This is our end of line device up here. So we will take our end of line resistor here, reinstall it on our new detector. And there we have it. Okay, that has both of these attic heat detectors changed out. And we can now re-enable this module. Okay, so we seem to have an open trouble for some reason here. Oh, there we go. It's gonna say that seems weird, but that cleared now. Okay, so we've got this all back normal now. Usually I do a test, but we're going to do our annual testing. Like it's, I mean, look at, look at it. We're gonna do the annual testing as soon into 2024 as we can. So I'm not worried about it. So anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this one. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give a thumbs up. Any comments, questions, feel free to leave those down in the comment section. And if you do enjoy my videos, make sure to subscribe. Also, if you are interested, I do have an Instagram account at Pickle700 for bonus content, stuff posted earlier than you'd see it on the YouTube channel, that sort of thing. All right, guys, thanks for watching.